Hi, I'm Jessica Blackwell from Equestra Care, and today we're just going to do a short little video on how to use our new fascial massage gun. So this is the gun here. Well, the gun is kind of an inappropriate word. We'll just call it fascial massager. Um, we have chosen this one for our um, clients and graduates and students because it's very light. It's 0 0.7 kilos. It is very quiet. So that's pretty quiet. And its intensity is very low. So for riders, they might like a more powerful massager, but for a horse, you know, something that is a little bit softer is better. There is also a unique feature with this one that you can change the speed on the dial, but you can change the intensity by how you apply the pressure yourself. And I will show you this on the live horse. So as you can see, there are quite a few selection of heads. Now, the two that I would do on a horse is this flat rubbery one nice and soft and squishy and this ball one which is also pretty soft and then on some areas I would use this one as a flat one so the other ones I kind of save for myself um, oh this one's quite good for the glutes and that the flat one um, save for myself or horses that are really used to it so we're going to use this one so what you do is you take your massage gun and you screw the head in. Always take the head out when you've finished and just blow out, clean the area that you screw it in, make sure there's no dirt. So then we're going to take it to our horse. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the horse is okay with the massage gun, all right with the noise okay with pressure i like to touch the horse and put it on me you can see this horse is fine okay she is untied she has had this before i would advise having a halter on your horse the first time and then we're going to put it on the horse so the first place you want to start with is somewhere that is a big bulky muscle. Marley, you're not helping. So, with the massage gun, there are areas that we want to use it on. This area, and we do have a handout with this. So your big tricep area is a big muscle. Along your back, because you know, you sit there, that's a big muscle. The gluteal region, and at horses that are comfortable, you can use it down here at the bottom of your bicep muscle or down the hamstrings, but they have to be horses that are okay with it. Same with horses that are okay with it, you can use up here in the pole and down your splenius neck muscle. We don't ever use it on the bones. Don't use it on the face. Don't use it on the neck. So this is your cervical vertebrae here. Don't use it along the spine, on the legs, or in any of those areas. So with this particular massager, this is the on button. This button here changes the speed. So you guys actually can't really see the numbers go up because it's vibrating so much, but I can. And on the right hand side is how much battery life it's got. So that's your indication there. So this will turn the speed up, that'll turn it down. So always start with it on the lowest one. Now with this one, you can have the control of the intensity. So we touch the skin, then for a more intensity, we push it in. Then we can take it off, more intensity. Now, obviously it doesn't go as fast when you increase the intensity because the power goes into there. So you can run it along gently, or you can push it in and run it along. 
back. Now, I particularly like this one because it's very gentle. Some of them are really like aggressive. This one's very gentle. Like I said, don't use it on bone, but you can see, you know, you can use it lightly and not be an issue. She's looking a little freaked, but oh, now she likes it. Okay. So although we don't want to use it there, it's so light, it's not actually going to do damage. So push it in for more. Pull it out for less. Push it in for more. Pull it out for less. You get the picture. And as I said, stick to the areas of big muscle. And most importantly, if your horse doesn't like it, it's not the right tool for your horse. You can see like, this horse likes it so much, we're just standing free, no tools or anything. We swap sides. Yeah, she swapped her own side. Yep, okay, I'll do it here. Questions, don't hesitate to ask. Hope you enjoy your tour.